We are back now with a story for true crime lovers. New DNA technology is now being used to solve cold cases that date back decades. Just to put this in perspective, according to the Justice Department, there are more than 250,000 unsolved murders in the U.S. Well, now one lab is working to change that and bring justice to so many families. Here's NBC's Gotti Schwartz. This is no longer something you see on TV that solves some cases here or there. So all of these cases that we're looking at here, these are the unsolvable cases before you guys came along. Absolutely. Just outside of Houston, Othram Labs is solving the unsolvable. So when it comes to your laboratory, when it comes to your tech and legacy tech, what's the, what's the main difference? So we're taking this really challenging evidence that's historically been unusable for testing and then we're enabling testing, and then we're doing that with hundreds of thousands of markers instead of, say, tens of markers of what you do in a traditional forensic test. The Othram team combines medical and genomic expertise to revolutionize how forensic DNA is processed. If you go to, like, one of those consumer DNA companies to learn about your ancestry, spit in a tube, and, and you'll generate uh, about a 1,000 nanograms of DNA. At Othram, like, we, we work off 0.1 nanograms. Put it in a, perspective. How small is it? How small are we talking? So the equivalent would be 15 human cells. If I touch David's shoulder right now, I've left hundreds of cells right here. The lab's run by husband and wife duo David and Kristen Middleman. He handles the science. She does the business. We're off in the last hope. Every time they give you that last bit of DNA or that last bit of evidence, that is someone's last chance of being identified and someone's last chance to get justice for what happened to the person that they lost. In 2018, we had noticed that several cases had been solved, the Golden State Killer, for example, using this type of technology, but... But it was, it was from a bunch of different pieces, right? Correct, was... and you notice that not all cases were being solved, and it really isn't justice unless you can provide it and apply it to every case. And that's when David said, well, there's no process to do so. And so he said, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna build a forensic lab of the future. Here we're building kind of a molecular library of that DNA. So we're getting many copies of it, breaking it up into itty bitty pieces. And each little piece is like a book in the library that describes some component of the information about that case. And what this is, is a, it's the most powerful sequencer on earth. How often are you calling law enforcement and saying, hey, I think every we've day. got a hit. Every now, day. every day. So we've seen it all. We've worked on a body that was found in a sewage tank for for decades. We've worked on remains from 1881. And these are things that weren't possible a few years ago. Making the impossible possible, helping families and law enforcement find answers like in the 1974 abduction and murder of 17-year-old Carla Walker. It took my whole family. We were still a close family, but it was never the same. Othram was able to process a tiny DNA sample from Carla's bra strap. Those results, along with some good detective work, led investigators to arrest Glenn McCurley in 2020. I got a call around near 6 o'clock p.m., and one of the investigating detectives said, well, we got him, and he told me Glenn Samuel McCurley, and I'd never heard that name. Glenn McCurley was sentenced to life in prison for Carla's murder last year. With the work that you've done, what do you think forensics is going to look like in 10 years? So I think we'll live in a world where there are no backlogs. So, so you, think that, you think that this could prevent crime in the future? I think it would become a deterrent for crime. I would definitely think twice. I think if you've left DNA at a crime scene, it's a matter of time before someone like us or us processes that crime scene. Mm -hmm. Let's hope so. I mean, mm -hmm. The whole thing's fascinating. Here's the thing. Now, for the first time ever in a recent appropriations bill, Congress says it is going to fund this type of forensic technology. Mm. There's much, much more of these true crime stories on our Today All Day streaming special. It's called Cracking the Case, America's Obsession with True Crime. It airs at 11.30 this morning. Uh, over on today all day. And, and by the way, we want to say congratulations to Gotti and Savannah Sellers and the whole Stay Tuned team on its five-year anniversary. Five years. Get this. They, they've got like a million views per episode on Snapchat. It brings you the news you need in just a few minutes. So congratulations. Happy birthday. Way to go. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.